Hello, welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Maze Runner. So when I saw the trailers for the Maze Runner, I had a mixed reaction between, wow, this looks pretty cool, and these trailers are really well done, and, oh god, not another young adult book adaptation. Thankfully, this one delivers. I think that the Maze Runner is at least on the level of Divergent, and I actually was pleasantly surprised with Divergent earlier this year. So this one also came in at the end of higher quality young adult adaptations. So, what works about this movie? Well, it creates this wonderful world. They're trapped inside of this little utopia, if you will, inside of a maze. And in order to get out, they have to find a way through the maze. And for being such a small area, they create a beautiful landscape. And then once we get inside of the maze and start exploring, it's a really gorgeous world. But what really makes this movie shine is the acting cast. Dylan O'Brien plays our main character, and I thought he did a great job in really his first lead role. And he's being asked to anchor what they're hoping will become a franchise. And I think he does a great job in that lead role. We're able to relate to him. He plays his part perfectly. But the person who really shocked me was Will Powder. And you may know him, the only role I knew him from was We're the Millers, and he's that kind of goofy looking, goofy kid in that film. And in this one, he plays a completely different part, and he pulls it off wonderfully. He was able to give his character the right amount of edge and being an a-hole, as well as depth and understanding. And all the other young actors also do a very nice job of creating a realistic situation amongst a not very realistic scenario. But all of this, the world building, the characters, the writing, the script, the source material, come together to create, most importantly, an exciting movie. This movie grips you from the beginning and you stay gripped through the whole film. And that's where it shines, is you're just engaged. You care about what happens to these characters. You're interested in how they're going to get from point A to point Z. And you want to know. You're along for the ride, and you enjoy being along for the ride. Now, like every other movie, this is not perfect, and it definitely has its flaws. One of the distracting flaws for me was a lack of sense of time. I had no idea what kind of time had been passed at all throughout the entire film. It felt like weeks. It felt like they'd been together forever, some sort of camaraderie, some sort of rules. And since Dylan O'Brien's character arrived here in this new land, he was going along with a lot of time passing by. And then they finally reference, oh, it's been three days. That completely took me by surprise. I was like, three days? I thought it had been three months. Like, whoa. So the, the no concept of time was a real kind of distraction. And when time actually started to be referenced, you were taken out. And that very short span of time for so much to happen also took away from the realism, that took away from the actual storytelling, to where you were just like, what? This one person came in and just rattled the entire structure in the span of three days? I don't understand. So the whole time continuity thing was really weird to watch on the screen. Also, the, the big revelation wasn't really that huge of a revelation in my eyes. You kind of know where this whole thing is leading throughout the entire film. Uh, they definitely draw pants and they make it known. Um, so it wasn't necessarily as impactful. And I think some of our smaller characters who are supposed to be there are very one-note. So even our main character is pretty one-note. They try to add more depth through his past and like flashbacks, but really nobody in the film is all that well developed. We know one aspect to their character, and that one trait is the defining trait for them, period. And they have a little bit underneath the surface, but not much. We just know them, in this one scenario, doing this one thing. And that's their whole character. So, overall, would I recommend The Mace Runner? 
This is definitely a yes, I would recommend it kind of film for me. If you are a fan of the book, I would say definitely go check it out. I didn't read the books, so you can tell me if it's faithful to the source material or not. But if you're a fan of young adult adaptations, period, I think you will really enjoy this. If you are part of that demographic that they're shooting for, which is teenagers and young adults, I say go see it, period. I think you will really enjoy it. You'll get sucked into the world, and it's definitely on par, like I said, with Divergent, and I would say the first Hunger Games, because I don't think the first Hunger Games was amazing, and it definitely improved for the second one, but this is definitely on par with both of those first two movies. Uh, and if you're into action or sci-fi, this is definitely worth checking out. I don't think you'll regret it. At the very least, if you're one of those people, see it at a matinee. If you're not really interested in these type of movies, I would say definitely maybe even check it out on a rental. It was It's a shocker. It is better than maybe you would anticipate it would be from its genre. So, at least a rental, but I think it's definitely worth the price of admission. So... That has been my review for The Maze Runner. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and click like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you are never miss out on the latest videos. I love you all so much for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!